lesson number six exercise tutorial this is one of our most powerful ways of uh, embedding and learning electrical physics so for those of you who are not aware uh, step one the exercise question is posed the student uh, then pauses the video and attempts the question step two continue to play the video we'll provide a hint that will give us some assistance and point you in the right direction again you pause the video and uh, complete the question step three continue to play the video the answer is provided with a worked explanation of how we got to the answer and that's the powerful part of these little videos and then step four continue to the next question so question one calculate the total circuit resistance so you pause the video here And the hint is R total is R1 plus R2 plus R3. So we've got to recognize that this is a series circuit. And the total resistance is just the addition of all the resistances around the circuit. And here's our answer. R total is 100 plus 470 plus 560, giving us 1,130 ohms, or you may have expressed it as 1.130 K ohms, or thousands of ohms. Question two, calculate the total circuit resistance. Again, similar approach, pause here. Hint, same as hint as last time. R total equals R1 plus R2, etc. And our answer, R total is 33 plus 10 plus 82, giving us 125 ohms as the total or effective resistance. Question three, calculate the applied voltage. So again, we're starting to think about Kirchhoff's voltage laws here. Pause the video. Our hint is volts total equals volts one plus volts two plus etc etc etc. So here's our answer, volts total is 4 plus 5 plus 6, because they're the respective voltage drops around this particular circuit, giving us a volts total of 15 volts. So this one, calculate the applied voltage. Again, think about Kirchhoff's voltage laws and pause here. Again, the hint is Vt is equal to V1 plus V2, etc. And our answer is volts total is 15 plus 35 plus 50 equals nice, neat 100 volts. Getting a little bit more complicated now. For the circuit below, determine the equivalent resistance, total current, and the applied voltage. So pause here and have a think. Our hint is use your Ohm's Law wheel, so get out your textbook or if it's on your equation sheet. And uh, here's how I got there. There's a couple of little different approaches that you could use here. I'll just uh, turn my, my pen on. So R total to begin with came in at 35 ohms, giving me the total. I then said, oh, I need the, need the current, so why don't I just pick up volts 1 and resistor 1, which is what I got here. And that's 40 divided by 20, giving me 2 amps. I could have used any of the other 3 resistors, but that's where I got those values from. Then the volts total is just the addition. I gave us the 3 voltages, so I just added those up, and that comes to a nice, neat 70 volts. So we've got the equivalent resistance, we've got the current, and we've got the voltage. We can also check our voltage, because it's uh, 70 divided by 35, which is the total resistance. That should have been in ohms. And you get 2 amps, and you can see we're able to double check ourselves here, getting the same answer. 
Question six for the circuit below determine the equivalent resistance total current and the voltage V1 through to V3 So pause here The hint is again use your Ohm's law wheel So again here, once we've got the process in our heads right, it's not too hard, work out the R total, which in this case is 50 ohms, work out the uh, current in the circuit, and uh, this time we're going to use the volts total, which we were given down here in the circuit, and our resistance total, which we worked out, tells us that we have a current of 2 amps flowing in the circuit. Then to work out the three voltages, we simply take the current, which doesn't change because it's a series circuit, and multiply it by the appropriate resistance, giving us 20 volts, 30 volts, and 50 volts. And again, if we want to double check ourselves, we should be able to add up all those voltages. And if we add the 50 to the 30 to the 20, we get 100 volts, which is what was applied to the circuit. Therefore, we know we must be correct. Uh, question 7 now. We have resistors. The values of 9 ohms, 14, 17 ohms, respectively, are connected in a series circuit across 140 volts. Determine the total resistance, the total current, and just the voltage across the 9 ohm resistor. So pause here. The hint is draw the circuit. I hound this with my students all the time. Don't try and hold the circuit and all the information in your head. Draw the circuit and then work through the circuit. So here I've drawn the circuit. Three series resistors, 9 ohms, 14 and 17. We had to work out the, uh, the total, which we've done here, our total. We just add the three resistors together, giving us 30 ohms. The current, the I total, is the voltage total divided by the resistance total. They gave us the voltage table total in the question. So 140 divided by our 30, which we got from there, gives us 4.67 amps flowing in the circuit. And we wanted to know what the voltage was across R1, or across the 9 ohms. And I simply went with the current multiplied by the resistance value, and that came out at 42 volts. Question 8. For the circuit below, determine the circuit current, the total resistance, the voltage drop across R1. Applied voltage and the total dissipated by the circuit. So total power dissipated by the circuit. So pause here. So again, the hint is get out your Ohm's law wheel. This is just an Ohm's law problem. And here's the solution. So we can work out the current total because we've got V2 and R2. That's those two things there. So we can work out the current through this resistor. And that's 50 divided by 100 giving me 0.5 or half an amp. So if I've got half an amp there, I've got half an amp in every part of the circuit. The next thing I do is work out the R total. And that's not too difficult because I've only got two components. The R total is just 50 ohms plus 100 ohms. That's the two resistive values added together, giving us 150 ohms. Next thing was to uh, find the voltage across resistor 1. We know what the current is. 
and we know what the resistance value is so it's half an amp multiplied by 50 volts going to give me 25 volts and then what's the supply voltage again the current multiplied by the resistance total which is 0.5 multiplied by 150 has got to give me 75 volts and again I could have worked out the voltages around the circuit and added them together and got to the same place then finally the power in the circuit power equals volts times current so I've got 75 volts applied to the entire circuit I've got half an amp flowing so 75 multiplied by 0.5 should have given me 35 I think I've got it done a little bit of a typo there so half of 75 no it's that's right it's 37.5 and I could I have also gone down the other route of going I squared R and gone 0.5 squared multiplied by 150 ohms and I still get 37.5 watts so this is the end of DC lesson 6 exercise tutorials I hope you've got something out of those